All right, so this is uh, Courtney's dad, my father-in-law, and he's got a big behemoth giant flashlight. So tell me about the flashlight because people are going to want to know. Hey guys, I purchased this unit though, likely half a dozen years ago at Costco. I think it cost around 40 bucks, which was a pretty good price for what I thought was the most humongous, most powerful flashlight in the world until last night when my son-in-law here brought out this little gadget that uh, he brought home from the thought, Wow, no comparison. If you looked at the video, you'll understand why. This thing doesn't stand a chance. So good going for the developers of this new gadget. Right on. Hey guys, I'm just out of the cottage, but I wanted to take some time to review a product for you. Through Night's been really good to me. Um, they offered the headlamp not too long ago, TH20. Uh, it's uh, done really well for me. I've caught catfish on this using this rig. It's the head mount. Um, I've got a 2A V3 Archer. That's a good, another good light. It's good for tracking down deer. Um, what I do is if I want to boost off my TH20, I'll put that on my head and then I'll boost with the Archer. This is nice, small, compact one. And this is obviously for free up your hands. They sent me uh, their new Catapult V6. They wanted me to do a torture test, so I had my son put this thing through the paces, and this thing's pretty durable. He hit it with a mallet, uh, threw it up in the tree, used it like a hammer, dunked it in the water, stood up to all that. And let me tell you, the beam on this is insane. So to use this is really simple. Uh, it comes with a battery um, in the back port here. Big battery comes with it. Um, you're going to I, this messed me up, I gotta be honest, it messed me up. There's, there was no good instructions on how to put this battery in and I'm gonna tell you why it messed me up in a second. But uh, the battery goes in, this end in first, okay? And then simply screw it on. Now the reason it messed me up is because this battery comes and it's not charged to begin with. Now, let's power it on, see it works. I think that's low beam. Okay, let's get super high beam, there we go. But, if you actually turn, the front of it <laughs> see I didn't I didn't turn the back here I turned this part of it here it actually turns off so if you're charging it wrong you don't have the battery in and then this isn't tightened and you go to turn it on you're gonna get nothing and you think it's broken so there's a little bit of a flaw there but it's not a major flaw because I think maybe if you want to turn it off you could just turn, I don't know I'm not sure why that is anyway it's a minor thing now when you plug it in it takes a USB charger there's a port here Simple, simple. Plug your USB, plug it into the computer. Now, if you've got it all plugged in properly, it's going to show a flashing blue light in the indicator. If you have it in wrong, which is how I did it a couple of times, it flashes purple. Take the battery out, turn the battery back around. You should be good to go. Make sure, again, that end is tight, and that's all you got to do. So, the only thing left we have to test uh, is the beam distance, but I already know it's super bright. I mean, Oh, just the reflection off the screen is intense. Um, I heard a lot about Through Night. They sponsor everybody. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of people doing reviews on them. So when they wanted to send me these, I'm like, sure, whatever, send me them. Because what do I have to lose? I was a small channel at the time. I had nothing to lose. But I've put these things, I've beat them up. Um, and they work. They are actually legitimate products. I've had other flashlight companies send me some products um, and I haven't endorsed them yet because I haven't found anything that meets my expectations. But Through Night does. So if you guys are going to buy a flashlight anyway, consider investing in the Through Night. Um, I can't see any reason why you would not buy a Through Night versus another flashlight. I just can't. I mean, it's a good flashlight. I think this one retails for 75 so it's not inexpensive but it's a super, super bright oh and it's compact. That's not a big flashlight. It's, um, I'd say on the heavier side, but not for the size and not for the beam, the beam distance. So we're gonna wait till nightfall and we're gonna just see how far we can throw a beam with this thing. And I think you guys are gonna be pretty impressed. And uh, my son actually caught a nice little, well, I caught a sunfish. He was desperate. He really wanted to eat a fish. So I caught him, caught him a sunfish off the dock and we're gonna fire that up. But uh, consider giving uh, Through Night a few bucks if you want to buy a flashlight and you're, if you're supporting Through Night, you're supporting me because that's how it works. So let's, uh, let's skip right into the beam distance test and see how far this thing actually flashes. Don't put this in your eyes, man. It's super bright. This thing's insane, man. This thing throws some light. So 
if you want to do anything crazy like you know hunt at night I'd recommend this light or if you know you're looking for something pretty sure you could find it look at that beam all the way across the lake so we got this gigantic I don't know I got a perspective on that it's huge can you see it in the dark? Yeah, I've got night vision on. Oh, do you? See? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, night vision. So you can see how big that is. I'm in the army now. And then we're doing side-by-side -side test with the through night. And it's pretty close. The through night on the right has a wider beam. Let's switch but back at a night shot. way smaller. Way smaller. Switch on a night shot. Here, keep it on the right. Yeah, I see. I have to have a truck to get this thing around. You can just button that glove box. I got a picture of that in the daylight because it's massive. <laughs> it's huge. Here, hold and hold. The, bring the three night okay, over. Okay, let's see how far away we can go. Oh my, we can go pretty there. far. Put that out in there, Chris. Cool. Hold and show, show the show the flash that go right up beside Papa Rod. Show, I want to see the side by side. I want to see the size difference. <laughs> <laughs> and they're probably about the same, I'd say. Because that one has a brighter spot in the middle, but this one has wider, but but dimmer. Cool. What an impressive gadget you have there. So the through night. This is unbelievable. Up against That's the... it. I'm going to throw this in the water and walk <laughs> away. I want one of those. So. If Through Knight's watching this, send Papa Rod a, a, a V6 catapult. He wants one. And then you can, <laughs> then you can throw out this gigantic one. <laughs> so cool. Now let's see what the neighbors are up to. <laughs> <laughs> How many volts on that? We're trying to figure out where it came from and what it had as far as models. It's just a model number. It doesn't even have a name or brand. Yeah, model 29-116, output 120 volt. There's two two different settings, so the, the, the bright light is 120 volt. Um, made in China, couldn't tell you, but it's distributed through a company in Toronto. It's pretty light, right? Not really. <laughs> Not really? You being facetious? Yeah. Not light at all. <laughs> I, had to, I had to bring a pickup truck to get this to the cottage. That thing's a monster. So compared <laughs> compared to the through night, that thing's a monster. Absolutely. Yeah, and the, and the brightness, we figured it was probably... Uh, actually, the through night won, didn't it? The small flashlight won. Oh. Big Com time compared to that one. Big time, yeah, yeah. And, and so uh, convenient. Very light <laughs> yeah. compared to this. Uh, <laughs> you can't. Animal. I gotta back up and show how big that is. It's huge. You're looking at the flashlight, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, your muscles too. <laughs> it's a massive flashlight, so the technology has certainly improved. Absolutely. Cool. You're on the right path, man. Right on. Okay. Later. Flashlight, too sexy for my flashlight. <laughs>